Well, unfortunately, COVID has hit our house, so I don't have any wine today just because I didn't really feel like wasting a bottle on, you know, when uh, my husband can't drink it with me and I don't have anything, you know, anybody to share it with tonight. So it's just water. I don't know about y'all, but every time I've passed a candle um, the last few days, I'm like, is it gone? No, it, I've still got my sense of smell and taste. Unfortunately, my husband does not. So um, anyways, we're surviving super mild cases. Thank goodness. But anyways, I know you guys are wanting to hear some information on the market um, because I know personally I can nerd out about all of this. Um, and I found some very interesting numbers I'm going to go over on the second part of this. So if you're kind of bored in this first part, just skip ahead um, where we talk about absorption rates and uh, months of inventory because I think that is just the most telling about our market. Um, so total listed of J in June were 60 houses. This is for Callaway County residential sales. Total listed in May, so last month were 62. Total sold this past month were 54. Total sold in May was 53. So our numbers are still very much the same as they were in May, June. They're still there. Um, year ago, in June, we listed 65 houses and a total sold of 63. So last year in June, we sold a little bit more, listed a little bit more, but not by much. Uh, list to sales price ratio, I found this interesting. If you look back at a couple of videos in April, we said the list to sales price ratio was 101.72%. So that means on average, houses were going above asking price. List of sales price ratio in May of 2022 was 99.05, so it went down a little bit. This past month in June, it was 97.45%. And then if we look back at the list of sales price ratio in June of 2021, it was also 97.79%. So it's getting a little bit more back on track with what they were last year. Um, Average sales price in June of 2022, $259,254. Average sales price in June of 2021 was $245,823. So a little bit more this past year than it was year to date. I'm sorry, not year to date, year, um, month last, <laughs> last year in June. Um, year to date, we've had a total listing of 289 houses in Callaway County. Those are residential listings and total sold 250. And our average list to sales price ratio is 98.27%. So June was a little less than the average. But now let's talk about the interesting stuff. So I know you guys are all hearing, oh, the market's starting to shift. It's slowing down, blah, blah, blah. Well, in Callaway County, it's really not. We're gonna talk, we're gonna look at the absorption rate and the months of inventory. If you remember from last month, those are our two determining factors of supply and demand and how the market is doing, if it's a seller's market or a buyer's market. So absorption rate, we take the average number of sales per month for the last six months, which for Callaway County, there were 267 sales. So if we divide that by six, that's an average of 44.5 um, sales a month for the last six months. Now we take that and divide it by the total number of available properties, which is 47. So that means, and then you take that number and you make it into a percentage. So our Callaway County's absorption rate is 95%. If you remember above 20 is a seller's market, below 15 is a buyer's market. So we are definitely still very high on that um, seller side. Um, now, I thought this was kind of interesting. If you take the absorption rate and break it down, so if we look at, say, 150 to 250,000, because I've had a few of those listings come up the last couple months or so, and the supply and demand, or the demand for those is just insane. So if we look at the absorption rate specifically for that, we had sold 93 um, for the last six months, divided by six, is 15.5 current number of active listings in that price range is eight. So if we take that, divide it by, make it at a percentage, we're at 193%. If the whole Cali County average is 95, but that 150 to 250,000 is 193%, you can obviously say that those are going a whole lot faster than the average. Now, if we look at the absorption rate for houses over 400,000, we've sold in the last six months, 21 houses, so that divided by six is 3.5. Active is 17, so we're at 21% for 
houses over 400,000. So you can tell a big difference between houses that are listed over 400,000 and what houses listed less because they're gonna be going a lot slower, not quite as fast. Um, and like I said, above 20 is a seller's market. It's still a seller's market for those houses that are over 400,000, but it's not like 150 to 250,000. So if you have a house in a price range that you're like, hey, what about 300, 350, 500, let me know and I'm happy to do some calculations for you on your particular um, price. Now, if we also look at months of inventory, that is if not another house came on the market, how long would it take for all the houses to be sold? Um, if you remember, a zero to four months is a seller's market, five to seven months is a healthy market, and eight plus months is a buyer's market. So months of inventory, we take our active number of listings, which is 105, divided by the sold or pending listings, which is 106. So for Callaway County, we have one month of inventory. 105 divided by 106 rounds out to one month. So let's look at those, how we broke them down the other time too. Months of inventory for 150 to 250,000, we are looking at 0.2 of a month. <laughs> so just a matter of days. And if, what I found interesting with that is your average days on market for that price range um, for those houses that sold in the last 30 days or are pending or under contract is 40. So 40 average days, um, 40 days on market is the average for those. Now let's look at the same at 400,000 over. If you hear my dog barking, I'm sorry. <laughs> so 400,000, we have currently active 17. Soldier pending since June 24th so in the last month, we have 11. Um, so the months of inventory for houses over 400,000 is 1.55 months. So almost a month and a half. Um, so you can tell what a big difference that is in the price ranges. Average days on market for those houses, the 400,000, the ones that are under contract or sold was 90. So obviously makes sense. All of that data is going to make sense when you are looking at, you know, 90 days versus 40 days for the different price ranges and stuff. So it's really important if you're thinking about selling your house, make it, make sure you're looking at not just the overall, um, stats and stuff for the, for the county, the market, whatever you want to, you can dial it in even on your price range. Um, so there it is. That's the market uh, update. Um, today is July 25th. So um, those numbers are accessed as of today. And let me know if this is interesting to you because I find it super interesting. Um, we're definitely still in a seller's market. Just kind of depends on what, um, what price range you're looking in or what price your house is in. And, you know, go from there and see what we can find for you in your personal situation. So um, cheers and stay healthy. Um, avoid COVID if you can. And um, anyway, bye.